So what's up? Uh, it's like, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I just got back from my brother's house. I brought all my shit. I just wanted to show you. This is how my hair dries. Pretty spectacular. That aside, I'm just going to tell you what happened. It was an alright night. Uh, it wasn't anything crazy. I mean, I woke up at 11 and we just hung out. And it was a rainy Saturday, so we had really nothing to do. So we went to the mall. Went to FYE. They had a fucking sale on headphones. $70 headphones, 30 bucks. What the fuck, man? I should have done that before I bought. I bought these fucking little Rasta buds. I bought these little things for 30 bucks, dude. 30 fucking dollars right here. And uh, my brother got a fucking pair of these big ass skull crushers with like a bass amplifier booster for 30 bucks. I was irate, but, you know, it happens. After we went, walked around the mall a little bit, we went down to the Halloween boutique. Pretty lame, but, you know, we walked around in there and pretty much their costumes were fucking cheesy as hell. Like they had this one called the bong king it looked like a fucking soda can with a little like cod piece filled with green foam it's supposed to be like a bowl yeah fucking ghetto and they had uh, and all the girl costumes see are just a bunch of skank ass clothes oh nurse too bad it's a sexy nurse oh cave woman too bad it's a sexy cave woman now i'm not i'm not complaining not in the least but you know i've come to the conclusion that halloween is just an excuse for girls to dress as slutty as possible for one day of the year. You know, get it all out of their system. Get all the skank out in one, you know, quick blow. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't work and girls walk around like skanks all year round. But what can you do, right? So after we walked around the Halloween boutique, uh, you know, there was nothing really to do. So we went back to the, the homestead, the HQ as it were. Mind of Madness, right? And it is fucking crazy. Like, it wasn't all that nuts when I was watching it, okay? But it has a good plot line. It's like a prophecy of Harry Potter. Here's the plot. There's a book that's so... It's read by so many people. And, like, there's riots on the street when the book goes out of sale and everything. Like, it's like a fucking... It's read more times than the Bible. It's a guy sold billions of books. And it's only, like, three... No, it's like six or seven different books and he sold billions Then the last book like turns everyone crazy it's fucking nuts so it's pretty much like that shit I was fucking tired while we were watching it so I was dozing in and out while we were watching it and at the very end I fucking was like okay I'm tired and I fell asleep and I had some crazy fucking dreams I don't remember them I just remember being scared shitless the entire time going what the fuck's going on Jesus Christ in the movie there's a person that's like walking around like like the bridge, the backwards bridge on their hands, but the head is like twisted forward and it's like walking or like walking towards you. And then it does like this thing where it's on two hands and two legs and then it switches over, but the head stays in the same spot. And this movie was made in the 80s. It was creepy as fuck, right? After that, I took a nap. I woke up about 8. We went over to the 8th the way and uh, watched some movies. Came and I came back, grabbed all my shit and came home. Apparently they turned the furnace on, okay? because it's getting too cold it's like October 14th some shit like that it is pretty cold but in this room because this motherfucker turns on every five minutes it's like a goddamn boiler room I feel like Freddy Krueger down here I'm waiting for the parents of all the kids I've killed to throw a Molotov cocktail and end it all dream spirits will come and give me a fucking choice of your soul for eternal supervision powers of killing kids what am I gonna do you know I'm gonna take it and then thus repeating the vicious cycle but I digress I'm watching this movie called the Zeddy Geist or something like that I can't say it but it's pretty nuts if if you watch it you'll scratch your head or you'll call it blasphemy it's really all that's happened